Hey guys, this is Thomas with Financial Empowerment, and today, if you can make a poster, then you can win $1,000 to pay for college. So let's take a look at exactly what you need to do to win. All right, taking a look here, this is the high school poster contest by the Christophers. So we have the Christopher High School Poster Contest. This is the 32nd annual poster contest. So they do it every single year, and it's due in February. The prizes here are 1,000 for first prize, 500 for second prize, and 250 for third prize. Now they also will give $100 away to five honorable mentions. So you only have to make it in the top eight and you'll win something. Now they do say here at the top that it is for students living in the United States. They're the only ones that are eligible and you have to be in grades nine through 12, which is high school. So we know that scrolling down here, it says how to enter the poster contest. Now, if you did make your poster digitally, then you will submit it online. Make sure it's a JPEG file and you will submit it online. But if you draw it, paint it, hand make your poster, then you're gonna have to mail it, obviously. So they give you the address here. If you have any questions, you can email this person. And again, it says the entries are uh, need to be postmarked by February 17th. The winners will be announced here on May 3rd. Now, if you wanted to do the digital uh, submission, then you click here. But if you didn't make your poster digitally and it's physical, then these are still the same rules apply to both. The posters must include the statement, you can make a difference, and then illustrate the idea that one person can change the world for the better. It does say each poster must be the work of one student, so no collaborating. Um, some contests allow you to have, say, two people compete in the same contest. Most scholarships, and in this case, this poster contest, just one person. The posters must be 16 by 20 inches uh, in size, including the border or mat if used. So you want to keep this in mind, even if you're doing a digital uh, poster, the, the dimensions still have to match that 16 by 20. So keep that in mind. But obviously, if you're making a physical poster, then that's the dimensions it needs to be. So straightforward enough. It says if charcoal pastels or glitter are used, the poster must be either laminated or covered with clear plastic. The following information must be included on the back of the poster, your name, mailing address, email, phone number, school, school address, teacher's name, and grade. They say don't use glass, tack, staples, or other breakable or sharp objects in your entry. Again, that's partially for safety, also for damage and those kinds of things. So, um, you know, keep it somewhat simple here. <laughs> Flat shipping is recommended for the poster's protection. So again, that also means that you might have thought of, I'll just roll it up and stick it in one of those tubes and mail that. That's not what they want. They prefer flat. So that's probably also why they keep the dimensions somewhat small because a poster could be giant, you know, like 30 by 40. So uh, keeping it small 16 by 20 allows you to mail in something that's nah, relatively reasonable. They will be judged on overall impact, effectiveness in conveying the theme, originality, and artist merits. Uh, the judge's decisions are final. All entries become the property of the Christophers. Posters cannot be returned. And then they give a little paragraph here about who the Christophers are. And then also if you scroll down here, then you can click here and look at past winners. So that's the Christopher poster contest for high school students. And if you enter that contest with a poster, you could win up to $1,000 for college. Now, in addition to contests and scholarships, there's other ways to pay for college, including grants and many other things. So if you wanna learn more about that, I do have a course that's linked down in the description that goes over all the different ways to pay for college and also talks about ways to reduce the cost of college so you don't need as much money in scholarships anyways. So if you wanna do that, click in the description Otherwise, you can click on this video here for more scholarships due this month, or you can click on this playlist over here, and that will give you all the stuff that I have on scholarships. Remember, you can pay for college without student loans, so stay empowered. We'll see you in the next one.